Hey everybody, this is Doug with another short video, this one about airport security. Now remember, I'm not a medical professional, I'm just some guy on the internet. But I will tell you that the information in this video was gathered through interviews with several device design engineers. These are the people who designed our devices. And it was from two different companies, Medtronic and Boston Scientific. So I'm pretty confident that the information I'm giving you in this video is accurate. Hope you enjoy. So if you follow my YouTube page, you'll see that I have a video on there about how our devices interact with magnets and airport and venue security stations. It's a long video, it's pretty detailed, has a lot of history and a lot of technical information, so I'm not gonna go into that. But what I will tell you is this. In the 1980s, 1990s, there was a problem that started to present itself with our devices. And it was an issue that caused patient injury and a couple of patient deaths. It seemed to be triggered by when patients would get close to magnets or they'd get close to an airport security station. They'd go through airport security. And so the medical device industry as a whole realized that they had to change the design of their devices. They did this by adding some shielding to the devices, but they also did it by eliminating a key component called a read switch. This is the switch that was failing that was causing these devices to have problems. That switch occurred over 10 years ago. Uh, with all of the major manu manufacturers. So right now, if you go onto the patient websites for the, the major manufacturers of our devices, you will see that they say it is safe to walk through airport security stations without fear. What they're talking about is the archway, the one that you walk through, like you actually walk through it, that's the metal detector. It is safe to walk through that. The millimeter wave scanner, that's the one we put your hands up and it rotates around you, that's also safe. It's also safe for uh, the security personnel to wand you but there are some restrictions. With the wanding, you shouldn't let them hold it within three to six inches of your device, so it should be a little bit away from your body, and don't let them wave it over your device repeatedly. Ask them, you know, once or twice is okay, just pass over it and then be done. And that's all they need anyway to do their job. For the archway, just walk through at a normal pace. Now the security personnel don't want you standing in the archway anyway, so you're gonna be following their directions when they tell you to walk through, but just walk through at a normal pace. The millimeter wave scanner, there's no restrictions at all. That one just rotates around you and it doesn't affect your device. So it is entirely safe for you to walk through airport security without fear. It will not impact your, impact your device at all. This goes for people with defibrillators who are worried about getting shocked. You won't get shocked. This is for pace, people with pacemakers who are 100% paced. It won't affect your pacing. Uh, it will not do anything dangerous to your device. There is a small, really, really small chance that it could uh, trigger the magnet response within your device. For pacemakers, that will set your pacemaker to a constant rate of somewhere between 85 and 110 beats a minute. Uh, for defibrillators, that will inhibit detections briefly, meaning your device will not shock you for that brief moment that you're in the uh, archway or that the wand is being passed over your device. But as soon as you walk through the archway, as soon as the wand is no longer over your device, that is not a concern anymore. Your device will be totally fine. So just a quick recap. It is totally safe, and it has been for about 10 years, for us to go through airport security, to go through venue security, courtroom security, totally safe for us to do that without any problems at all and without any fear. Now, what do I do personally? I don't even mention that I have a device. I walk through like everybody else. I have never had a problem. I did have one problem once at a courthouse where their device, their uh, archway was set up super sensitive, and so it picked up the metal in my leads, and I told them I have an implanted device and the guy wanted me and I was on my way. Other than that, I've traveled more than a dozen times and I've never had a single issue with airport security. I don't even mention it anymore. I just act like everybody else. So hope that information is helpful. Hope you have safe travels without fear, without worry. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.